<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, head coach Troy G. Ward. Troy, what do you think was the key for your team to jump out to that or two nothing lead in the first period? Uh, I just thought we were ready. I thought we were ready to play. I thought we had a good morning of prep. Um, thought we had some good focus to us. Um, thought we had purpose to what we were doing. And uh, I thought we understood our game plan and, you know, we're fortunate enough to execute it. We had some uh, moments of truth, as we call them, that, you know, guys showed up in moments of truth who got some good goals. Yeah, very opportunistic. Uh, you seem to really, you know, put in goals you know, on turnovers, on power plays. Talk about, you know, what, what that means to a club. Well, we talked about it a little bit this morning, like just about relative to our execution. And, you know, you got your moments of truth. And when we haven't played as well uh, at times this year, um, and it's because we've had moments of truth. We just haven't been ready to finish. Um, tonight we had a little bit more purpose to us, you know. Um, so our execution was good. I thought guys um, understood their time and space very well. Like we talked about time and space and how we want to attack the net and just different offensive things like that. And we were opportunistic, and uh, that was a big part of the game. Are you expecting more out of Reinhardt, or are you pleased with what you've seen so far? Mm, well, I've expected more than what we've gotten to this point in the season until tonight. Like tonight was a good step where I think Max wants to separate himself like any player on our team to say that um, I'm playing on a decent team in the American Hockey League, and I want to consider myself an NHL prospect. And then you, you either got to be a, you know, it's a real simple game. You're either a rusher, a crusher, or somebody makes you an usher. It ain't real hard. And so uh, he's not going to be a crusher, that's for sure. In order to be a rusher and, and get points and have a job and play a long time, you got to finish, and you got to make plays when plays are there to be made. And, and I thought Rhino did that tonight very well. Brad Fear in the building tonight. Do your goaltenders ever get a chance to talk to a player of his stature coming into the building? Not to my knowledge. I, I don't know. <laughs> Unless Grant found his way over that. I, I, but I'd, usually not. Usually uh, most of the people that have been here um, throughout my two years um, up till this year, they haven't made it over very often. Have you reached your level of success for the first half of the season so far? Uh, yeah, it de de depends on how you determine success. This level of success is a lot about development. Um, so, you know, we won a game tonight, but in the development side, we need to do some good things. Like, we had a lot of turnovers. We turned over the puck on our walls. Like, we got young players that need to get harder, and be a little bit grittier on the walls, different parts. So, you know, we got a long ways to go on the development side. If you just look at it as, as a win-loss, um, that's a way to look at it. We don't usually measure ourselves that way. We measure ourselves by development more than win loss, and uh, you know, winning is a byproduct of your process. And you know, we were able to get that done in that column. So we did finish the day one and zero, which is our which is our goal every day. But you know, we talked after like we were a little bit uh, we um, the players were a little disappointed in some development areas of our game. Yanni already with the big game tonight. You want to talk about a little bit about that? Uh, Yanni played well. Um, I thought he made some really nice saves when he had to make some saves. That's the way it's been the first half for him. Um, when we haven't been there for him, he's come up with some nice saves. And I thought he did that again. I thought tonight mirrored his first half. Coach, uh, Yanni mentioned how important it was to get that final win in Hamilton before the break for you guys on that final road trip. Um, how much did that play a tribute to the success out there tonight, just mentally for the, for the team? Well, I think with the age of our team and the experience of our team, I thought it helped us. I thought it helped our posture coming in and flying back in here yesterday. And some guys got in late last night. Some guys got in early yesterday. So um, I thought it helped our posture, and I thought it helped our, just our kind of our, let's just say, our strut, you know. Um, Bob Seeger had a tune way back in the 80s called Her Strut. We had a little bit of Her Strut tonight. like, And that was good because we got a win out of it um, before break. So with a young team, I thought we had a little strut to us, and, and I thought that carried over. Last question? Great. Thanks, Troy. That's it? You don't get any questions? <laughs> We're going to ask about Bear, having Berti back and giving more opportunities on offense. Uh, Sven? It well, it definitely changes how the other team plays against us, for sure, um, because obviously he's a threat when he's, when he's on the ice to score goals. So 
Um, it hasn't worked out for Sven yet, but I think it, it, it opens up a lot of more space for a lot of players. How you defend against us, which line do you defend against, that makes it a little tougher. So anytime you can add somebody of that quality, um, that, that only helps your hockey team. Great. Thanks, Trey. Yep.